If you like this video, why not subscribe? This is the Zoom H1 Handy Recorder, a great entry-level stereo recorder. While it does have a mic input that records two channels of sound, it does not allow you to adjust those channels individually. You have one global control over both. When recording, I like having a safety track like the more expensive XLR recorders. This is when you record your sound normally in one channel, while a duplicate channel records slightly lower. That way, if your main channel clips from loud sound, your safety track should sound just right, giving you usable audio. I've done this in the past by using a passive mixer, but that is a more expensive solution. Here's my lav mic into the Zoom H1. Notice only the left channel is there because I'm using a mono microphone. When I add a mono to stereo adapter, the left channel is now duplicated to the right, but since I can't ride levels separately, they are exactly the same. With the Safety Track Auto Adapter, the left channel is again duplicated, but now it is automatically 12 dB lower. We now have a safety track for any 8th inch mic into any 8th inch stereo recorder, all for under 3 bucks. Before we build it, however, we have to do some homework. The first thing you need to find is your mic's impedance. Check your microphone manual and look under Specifications. The impedance will be listed there. Next, check for battery voltage. If your manual does not list it, check the battery itself. Mine is a button cell, commonly 1.5 volts. If the voltage is not listed anywhere, grab a multimeter and measure your battery's power. In my case, the impedance was 1000 ohms and the voltage 1.5 volts. If we multiply these together, we get 1500. Now we have the values of the two resistors we need to build the adapter. 1000 ohms and 1500 ohms. So let's get started. Here's your first two parts, your male-to-male -male stereo cable and your female plug adapter. Notice I've cut the stereo cable in half to get ready. The first thing you're going to do is unscrew your female plug adapter from its plastic sleeve and set it aside. Next, thread the plastic sleeve over the exposed wire of the male stereo adapter and pinch the top of the plastic sleeve with your thumb and forefinger like this. Cut the wire a little bit above your fingertips. Then slide your fingertips down to where they hold on right above the plastic sleeve and strip that black wire. This reveals three separate insulated wires, a red wire, a green wire, and a yellow wire. Go ahead and strip the tips of these. I recommend you tin the tips of these wires right now, and what I mean by tinning is when you place some solder at the tips of these wires so they're sealed up, ready to be soldered to something else. Remember that 1500 ohm resistor that I needed? Well, I didn't have one, so I had to solder a 1000 ohm resistor and a 470 ohm resistor together. This effectively gave me a 1470 ohm resistor, which is close enough to the 1500 that I needed. Here's the metal insert of the female plug adapter. We've got a round solder connection that we are going to use. That's the small one there near the base. A longer ground connection, and then a square connection, which we're not going to use for our purposes. Next, I'm going to take my 1500 ohm resistor, it doesn't matter which end, and I'm going to slide it through that rounded solder connection and dab some solder right in that hole. The second resistor, the 1000 ohm version, I'm now going to attach to the ground. I do this by sliding it through the ground connections hole and soldering it up. Now your 1000 ohm resistor and your 1500 ohm resistor should be right next to each other. I'm going to twist their wires until they touch. Then I'm going to solder them up. Then I take my green wire, which is the right channel, the one that is 12 dB lower, and I solder it to the resistors. Then I take the red wire, or the left channel, and solder it to the rounded connection. This is your normal signal. Last, we take the yellow wire and solder it to the ground. Now let's test it. Go ahead and take your adapter cable and plug it into your Zoom H1, then plug your mic into the adapter cable to make sure it works. If it doesn't, check your connections. To seal things up, let's take about an inch of some black electrical tape and wrap it around the metal female plug adapter to seal up the wires. Then screw on the plastic sleeve. And that's it, you're done. Now you've got a safety track auto adapter that will keep one channel 12 dB lower than the other one to protect your audio from loud noises. I hope you like this project. Thanks for watching.